Hey guys, Chris Carvalho with CarvaloFitness.com. Today I'm bringing you another keto question of the day. And today the question is, how much fat should I be eating? I know a lot of you might be wondering if you're new to keto, is fat good? Is it too much? Are you having too much? People are telling you to eat fatty meats, lots of nuts, adding butter and oils to your coffee and stuff of the sort. And you might be wondering, is fat, is that much fat actually good for you? And the answer is yes, because you're gonna be eliminating all your carbs out on this diet. So you're gonna be sticking to 5% of all your calories coming from carbs. And even more specifically, you're gonna be aiming for around 25 net carbs or less. Some people go as high as 50 grams of net carbs, but a lot are now going 25 grams or less. And the reason for that is simply because if you can lower your carbs even further, why not? That way, if you accidentally make a mistake while you're measuring and logging your foods, you don't have to be as concerned because you know that you have that buffer, that you could easily double your, uh, your carbs and you'll be fine because you'll still be at that 50 grams of net carbs. So back to the question at hand here, uh, is too much fat a bad thing? How much fat should I be eating on this keto diet? And uh, the answer really comes down to, it's an individual thing. For example, if you were to come to me, we'd have to look at your height, your weight, see uh, where you are in your weight loss journey. and see how active you are, all these other things that go into calculating your TDEE, we would look into that and we would use that to find out how many calories you need on a given day to maintain your current body. So once we find that out, we know you have to be in a calorie deficit in order to lose weight. So that's the next step. We'd put you in a calorie deficit. I normally recommend at least starting off here at 500 calories in a deficit per day. So if your maintenance is 2,000 calories, we're gonna drop you down to 1,500 for the day. From there, the most important thing right off the bat is making sure you're hitting your protein goal. I recommend you start off with one gram per pound of either body weight, lean body mass, or ideal body weight. It doesn't have to be that exact right at the beginning, because in the beginning, we're just trying to get you on the path, getting you used to the diet, and we can tweak it later as we go forward. So let's say that you're a 200 pound individual, but you know you're overweight, and your ideal weight would be closer to 180. So we're not gonna make you eat all that protein as a 200 pound man when you're trying to diet down to 180. So we would aim for 180 grams of protein. You're gonna do that every day, and that's gonna be your primary goal. You're gonna have, with keto, you're gonna have more goals, but basically you're gonna to wanna to keep your carbs under 25 grams of net carbs per day. Once you check that off, move on to the next thing. Are you getting enough protein? You wanna make sure you're getting the 180 grams of protein for this individual. Check. Next, you wanna make sure you're getting enough calories. You don't wanna to be too low, because that would be starving yourself, and you don't want to be too high because then you're going to def defeat the whole purpose of being on the diet and you're not going to lose weight. So, assuming that you are at your 1500 calories, for example, and you're getting your 180 grams of protein, your carbs are basically nothing, and you're just having vegetables like spinach, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and you're keeping them around 25 grams net carbs. I keep saying net carbs. And I hope that you guys know what I mean by that. But if not, basically you take your total carbs and you're going to subtract out any fiber that you're getting from the foods. The good thing is some of these vegetables, pretty much all the vegetables, have a decent amount of fiber. So when you look at the package and you see, oh, okay, this broccoli's got 10 grams of carbs. But if it has 4 grams of fiber, you subtract it, it's only 6 grams of carbs. So that works towards your total. Obviously that's why fruit is very hard to fit in because one banana 
you're pretty much already done with your carbs right there. It's very sugary, natural fructose in the banana. It's very high, not for keto. That's with keto, you could prob you could get away with berries. Berries are on the lower uh, glycemic index, so you could get away with those. They have lower sugar and um, they're not as carb dense. But just to play safe, just wipe out ve uh, fruits altogether. You're going to be replacing your fruits with your vegetables, and since vegetables are lower in, in um, sugar, you're going to be fine with having lots of vegetables. So. When it comes to how much fat do you need, it comes down to once you have your calories, you have your calorie picture, you know what you're supposed to be eating for calories. And you already checked off that your carbs are low and that you're, you're meeting your protein goal. Whatever you need now to reach that calorie goal so you're not starving yourself, you're just going to fill that up with fats. That's the simple answer. Obviously, you can go and do a Google search for a macro calculator. Once you know, you can look up um, a calorie calorie uh, calculator, find out, you can plug in some numbers, you get a good idea of how many calories you need in a day to lose weight. Once you have that, you go to a macro calculator and you can plug in that you wanna keep your carbs at 5%. You can play around with the protein percentage until you reach that one gram per pound of ideal body weight. And then the app will pretty much just plug in the rest for fats. That's how you go about that. Some people, they don't have the patience or the know-how with technology to do that. So they need a coach. If you need a coach, you can go in the description box below. I can gladly do that for you. There's links to my website, meal plans, workout programs, whatever you need's there. But for those of you that want to take a stab at it yourselves, be my guest. But basically, the fats is basically the plug. You want to keep carbs low. You got to have your adequate protein because you're trying to build muscle or preserve muscle in this diet. And then the fats is the remainder. But remember, it's the remainder, but you're not trying to spill over and eliminate the deficit you still got to be in a calorie deficit even on keto i know some people try to pass this message that keto is this magic diet you can eat whatever you want just stuff your face with chicken legs and just drink tablespoons of coconut oil and you're just going to shed the fat that is not 100 percent true the thing is high fat high protein foods which keto is both of those it just doesn't have carbs those are gonna keep you full longer so in theory if you take a jar of peanut butter and that's all you eat that day you just eat peanut butter straight out of the jar which most people probably won't do but if you did you'd be very full so it'd be kind of hard for you to overeat on just peanut butter same thing with chicken legs have you ever noticed that if you go to a cookout chicken legs chicken wings those are not the things you're pigging out on it's normally the chips it's the high carby foods the burgers that come with carbs too the hot dogs with the bread but with keto you're gonna be full so it's gonna be easy for you to stick to that deficit you can stick to the 1500 you can still hit your protein goal and you'll notice that even if your goal was to hit 150 grams of fat per day you might be full with 100 grams so you know if you're full don't force it down don't eat extra fat just fat is you eat it as much as you have available to you in your program and until you're satiated if you're full you don't force fats down you might want to force your proteins down you could always have a protein shake just make sure it has no carbs in the in the protein mixture that you get in your uh, container just look at the nutritional label make sure one gram of carbs is okay that's the one I, I use it the one I use is my protein it's a hundred grams a uh, hundred calories per scoop you get 20 grams of protein and only one gram of carb can't beat that all right guys that is all I have for you this week I don't want to make this video too long but basically I'll just recap one more time I would recommend keep the carbs below 25 grams of net carbs a day 
get your protein in one gram per pound of ideal body weight, okay? And then fats, just eat as, add as much fat to all your meals to the point that you're full, or not stuffed, but you're satiated. You're not starving. You know, like if you're having like a cheeseburger, just eat, have a cheeseburger, just no bun. Have some veggies on the side, maybe add some coconut oil. Just do what you gotta do to be full, but once again, don't stuff yourself. Just be content, because this is a diet, and you're not gonna be on it forever. But you will see great results with this diet. It's one of my favorite diets out there. You gotta try it. All right, guys, I will catch you in the next one. See ya.